Hey gang, it's a Saturday early, late afternoon, it's going to be early evening soon. We have a local distillery and brewery called Ranger Creek and they're doing a bourbon tapping of other barrels. They've got a new experiment, they're doing a larger bottle, a few other things. And I'm going to go out there and they're having a food truck, live music, they have some great craft beer and some good spirits. Their single malt is really nice, um, they got a good whiskey. A uh, few other things. So I'm, I, I texted a friend or two, um, not now able to go. I'm going to go out and do it myself, have a little fun. So with that, I'm going to grab a quick shave. I got about two and a half days growth here. And since I got the Rockwell delivery in, let's do a full up Rockwell shave as much as we can. So while I'm not using the new one, I am using the one I first got, the 6C in the polished chrome. I wish I had the gunmetal had come in, I would have used that. I have a fresh Rockwell blade. I'm going with the Rockwell Barbershop Soap, and if you watch the unboxing, you know that um, this was part of it. And it smells a lot like Fine American Blend or CAD, so I'm going to use Fine American Blend Aftershave here. Just the Razor Rock 26ml Big Bruce plus Soft Brush, nothing fancy. I uh, just want to get a shave in, and so um, let's wet the face here. I'm using plate four on the Rockwell, which I usually use three and down, but I feel like four might be appropriate for today's growth. Um, I may use, uh, you don't care about the post shave today, besides the fine will be whatever I want. Let's not bore you with that. Um, let's wet the tips on the brush here. It's a little smaller container. Uh, how many ounces? I didn't say in the last video. It's a four ounce container, but it's a tall soap, so it's not a very wide container, but... Uh, really firm. I mean, I'm pressing and <laughs> barely a fingerprint. So let's get loaded up here. This is a really firm metal tin. I don't know what it's made out of, but I don't see this denting like some of the other ones. Nice scent. Still pretty mild. Uh, definitely that barbersaw, barbershop y kind of scent. Oh, I know. Hang on. I got something for the post shave too. I uh, picked this up. I know it's been making its rounds. Where are you? The Aqua Velvet Sensitive 5 in 1 uh, Aftershave Balm. Um, let's give this a little run while we're at it. So, uh, a little more water. So we'll get to test out this soap, the vegan formula, a lot of nice ingredients. I read the ingredients out on my uh, other video. Hopefully the water won't get deep in the tin here. All right, so let's paint on. A lot of nice ingredients though, I will say that. Build our lather. New watch, by the way, Invicta Thunderbolt. Uh, got a good deal on Evine for with a discount coupon. I uh, didn't. I, I can't. I've been looking. This is when they launched last year, and I've been looking and looking and and I was debating metal strap probably, but the look of this one, it's kind of a brushed finish with the black, a lot of black. So I went. They had a one with the silicone strap. That seemed like a really good deal. So. Oh, and it is Victoria Day in Canada. So all my Canadian viewers, happy Victoria Day. I don't know how you celebrate it. I know it's a national holiday. And I emailed uh, Gareth and he did reply actually, but they're their company auto reply is also on initially, but he's still checking emails in. And so due to it being Victoria Day, the replies may be a little slow, maybe Monday, what have you. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> but he replied anyway. I sent him some photos of the, the error in the delivery. Man, that's one thing you can say about Rockwell. They respond. Gareth uh, really does his job. Or whoever else is at the ready, but it's been Gareth in my experience. <laughs> oh, 
Alright, yeah, good good lathering soap so far. Can't complain about that. Alright. Right, Rockwell plate four. Here we go, kids. So I haven't used the Rockwell blade a lot, so we're kind of re-approaching it fresh. Or Swedish steel by notice they're made in China. I'm not saying that's good or bad, I just that's why I read the label. Soap strength is about the same off the puck as it is uh, lathered up, so no problem there. I mean, nothing, no burning, no stinging, no reaction so far to it, which is nice. Those of you who have shaved with Rockwell 6S or 6C from there, those of us who got on the Kickstarter early know what you're getting. Blade, the uh, geometry of the head is really nice. The it's a quality product. I thought now that I got the soap as well as the rest, watch my unboxing if you want to see what I got. It, it It's the previous video it just went up a little while ago. I rushed it. I got a little tiny weepers. A couple. They were going to close right away, so that's no big deal.
Slickness is really good on the soap. I should, text, I should text Jerry, see if he wants to go. My, uh, my golf coach, become a good friend. Yeah, text him. Maybe he can tell him what his schedule is. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, we could definitely do a third, but, man, it's going to take off. Oh, very nice. Wow, this is a good shape. Very nice. Very clean here on the neck. I took the attack angle wrong on my neck there a little bit. Oh well. So I get for uh Rushing and
not prepping my face probably as well as I should have. But that's also why we have cold water, alum, and septic pencils. All right, I'm gonna rinse. Actually, minus the weepers, really close shave. Let's see what kind of, sadly, what kind of irritation we end up with because of our, we didn't watch our pressure like, a, like an idiot. Trying to close off some. I rushed it on my neck. I'll tell you, changes in my face with losing weight have created some problem spots I normally didn't have, whether I rushed or not. Regardless, it still still did some work there. I may need to come back with a styptic. Let's see what it does. I mean, really, irritation was fine. It was just that I rushed. I rushed some spots when I should have been a little more deliberate. Well, here and here. But you know what? They'll close. But by the time I leave, it's only 4. I'm going to leave about 4.30 or so because it takes about 35 to 40 minutes to get there depending on traffic. It's actually a pretty easy drive. It's just that... Uh, you hit a couple pockets of stupid with the on-ramp and the off-ramp at one area. It slows you down. It really should take about 25 minutes. Huh. Rinse fairly clean from the brush. Could use a little more rinsing, but soap was great. Really nice scent. I think most people, especially like barber shops, are really going to like it. Then you want a vegan formula. Because I think they'll be, they'll be selling it through their website. Um, very nice formula. I'd say it ranks right up there with a lot of others. It did perform quite well for me. Seemed a lot of easy. All right. Aquabella 501 says, non-burning all-day moisture, prevents bumps, soothes redness, helps fight ingrown hairs. All right. So. Camper lid. Of course there's one, Ken. What are you thinking? Pause. So tamper-proof, a 44-year-old man can't get through it. So I punched a hole. <laughs> All right, so. Mmm, pleasant scent. But not, not, a, not strong, but pleasant. And I'll rub the excess off here just because. Wow. Yeah, good shave. Rockwell razor performs. Blades perform nicely. Uh, the new blade, so I expect as much. Um, soap was great. Let's get into the fine. Fine American blend. Then I'll come back after a bit, see what my couple weepers have done. All right, that's it. I'm going to end coming up on 20 minutes. So have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday morning for the next shave and uh, be safe. I'll talk to you later.